Hi, I'm Alan Bresnik from Light Reading. We're here at our Cable Next Gen Technologies and Strategies event, and I'm speaking to Fernando Villarreal from Siena. Hi, Hi Fernando. Alan. Hi, Alan. How are you? All right, thanks. Excellent. So let's talk about with uh, at the conference. We've been hearing a lot about DAA, about fiber deep, about 10G, and something called the Converge Interconnect Network. Tell us what that is and what role it plays in all this distributed architecture that we've been talking about. Absolutely. So there's basically two parts to the DAA mm -hmm. network. Uh, one is the endpoints, mm -hmm. the CMTS, the video, and of course the DAA endpoints, the remote FI devices or mm -hmm. the remote MAC FI devices. Everything that connects those two endpoints in the middle mm -hmm. is what we call the converged interconnect network or, or the SIN. Right. Just what cable industry needs is another acronym, right? Another acronym, mm -hmm. yes. So what's new or different about the SIN? So what's interesting, new and different about the SIN is really two things. Number one is that it's a digital network mm -hmm. where the legacy cable network or the HFC network has been an analog uh, RF uh, network. So the first thing is digital. The second thing is that it is much bigger in scale. There are many more DAA endpoints and there have been nodes. Mm -hmm. And so those two items uh, demand some uh, new introduction of technologies into this space. So. Uh, with regards to being digital, we introduce uh, switches and routing concepts into the network. Uh, and we also introduce a different type of optics, no longer the analog optics. These are digital optics, right? Be the, and they, they span the gambit of 10 gig uh, to 100 gig, depending on what you're trying to do with it. So uh, those are the two uh, items with regards to being digital. With regards to, being, to, regards to the scale, because there are so many endpoints, you no longer can do it by hand. You really need some automation, you really need some tools that allow you to visualize a much bigger network and scale. And so those three items, those three disciplines, those three expertise are the things we need to make the SIN successful. How is Sienna helping cable operators with the Converge Interconnect Network as part of their DAA strategies and Fiber Deep and 10G? So Alan, you typically would not think of Sienna as a player in the cable access space. But because of the mastery we have in packet networking, and of course being world class in digital optics, and also the Blue Planet suite of automation that we have, it may, really makes us a natural partner for this transition uh, from the legacy cable access to this next generation SYN application. So at Siena, we're taking on this mantle. We're 100% committed to uh, allowing our customers to have a smooth transition to the SIN and really allowing them to extract as much value as they can uh, and making it a very adaptive network for them. So it's part of the whole adaptive network strategy. Absolutely, there's, there's, uh, there's definitely a purpose behind uh, the way we are presenting the wholesome, the, the complete story to the SIN. Okay, Fernando, thanks for your time. Thank you, Alan.